Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to use the LCD display and the Bluetooth module. Then we'll be able to send a message like Hello Arduino. And when we send it, you see it is displayed on this screen. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So here's what we left off from the previous video. We've created this sketch and we can turn on and off the LED using the app. Basically we have used serial.begin to begin the serial communication. Then we have used the function dot read to read one character. But we didn't have a function to read a string like hello world. Basically we are going to use the serial.read function to read character by character. We're going to read the first character, then we're going to add it to the string until the serial buffer becomes empty. So first of all, let's go ahead and delete all of these lines. We're going to start from scratch. Basically, we are going to read a string, then we're going to display it using the LCD display. And if you didn't watch my previous videos about the LCD display or the Bluetooth module, make sure to check them out. I'm going to add a link to it under the video description. So let's start by hooking up these components. We will need the LCD display. I'm using the one that comes with the I2C module. It's going to make it easier for you. Also, you need the Bluetooth module. This is called HC05. Of course, we need to power this LCD display and the HC module. That's why we need to create a 5 volts rail. And to do that, I'm going to take this jumper wire. And let's go from the 5 volts pin to one of the points. I'm using this red line. And you don't need to create a ground rail because we have few GND pins. So let's try to hook up this module. Let's start by connecting the VCC pin of the Bluetooth module to the 5 volts. Now you could use all of these points as 5 volts. Then let's connect the GND pin to the GND pin of the Arduino. I'm going to use this one. Then we have the RX and the TX pins. So this is the TX pin. I'm going to connect it to the RX pin of the Arduino. And the RX pin of the Bluetooth module goes to the TX pin of the Arduino Uno. Now let's connect our LCD display to the Arduino. Basically we have four pins, which are the GND. We need to connect it to the GND of the Arduino, the VCC to the 5 volts. Then we have the SDA and the SEL pins. So we're going to connect the SDA pin to the analog pin A4 and the SEL pin to the analog pin A5. You could also use these two. We have the GND, which is the brown wire. The VCC is the red one. Then we have the SDA and the SEL. Let's start by connecting the VCC or the ground to the GND pin. We have this one. Then I'm going to connect the red wire to the 5 volts. And finally, we have the SDA and the SEL pins. So this is the SDA pin. And this one is the SEL. Then let's go back to the Arduino IDE. And let's start by creating the liquid crystal I2C object. So that we can use this LCD display to display the text that we're going to read. And here we are using a library. And you need to include the library using include. And it's called Liquid Crystal I2C. 
then dot h and let's create the lcd object the type is liquid crystal i2c i'm gonna call it lcd and here we need to add three parameters the first one is the address of the i2c module which is 0 x3f and the other two parameters is the number of columns and rows so this lcd display has two rows and 16 columns i'm gonna enter 16 then 2 then let's go under the setup function and we're gonna test our lcd display first we need to use lcd dot init or initialize also we can use lcd dot backlight then we can display a message using lcd dot print and let's print hello world then let's upload the code but before you upload it you need to unplug the rx and the tx pins and let's upload it then let's give them back and as you can see we have the message hello world so our lcd is working now we're gonna read the message using the bluetooth module and we're gonna display it so first I'm gonna get rid of this line of code then to use the bluetooth module first we need to use serial dot begin so it's like the serial monitor we need to add the baud rate which is 9600 then let's create a new variable and it's gonna be the string that we're gonna read from the serial buffer so let's write string I'm gonna call it msg or message then we can go under the loop function so we're gonna read the string character by character using a while loop so while while we have characters that we can read from the serial buffer using serial dot available and this serial dot available is gonna be true whenever we have characters that we can read so let's write serial dot read which returns one character we can put it inside another variable the type is char or character i'm gonna call it c and once we read it we can add it to the string using msg plus equals the character c for example if we enter hello it's gonna read the h and it's gonna add it to the message then e l l and o and so on but we have one problem to fix so the function serial.read needs a little bit of time to work properly so i'm gonna add a little bit of delay each time we read a character we can add delay like 10 microseconds then we can display the message but first we need to check if the length is greater than zero that means that we have a message so if the string message dot length is greater than zero in such case we're gonna display it using the lcd display but before that we need to add lcd dot clear to clear the screen then we can use lcd dot print and we're gonna print the message msg also make sure to reset the message so at the end of the loop function we can use msg equals an empty string so the next time when we read a new message we're gonna display it and i think that's pretty much it so let's upload the code of course make sure to unplug these and once it gets uploaded let's give these back now we can open up this app so we've used this app from the previous video I'm gonna add a link to it under the video description of course make sure to open up bluetooth and pair the device so let's use the terminal to send a message like hello arduino then I'm gonna hit this button and there you go we have hello arduino and before we finish this video you could use all of these lines of code inside another function 
So instead of writing all of these under the loop function, we can create a separate function that is responsible for that using void. We can call it read string or anything. I'm going to call it read msg or message. Or I'm going to call it read serial port. And if you don't know how to create a function, make sure to watch my previous video. I've talked about functions and how to use them. I'm going to use control V to paste these lines of code. And let's call the function by writing the name read serial port. Now it's a little bit cleaner. Let's check if it's working. I'm going to hit the upload button. Then let's use the app. You could also use the voice. Hello Arduino. And yeah, we have hello Arduino. My name is Shaker. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.